Hi everybody, welcome to day 22. Woohoo! Alright. What are we doing today? <laughs> Legs and butt. Okay. Yes. Alright, so we're gonna... That's it. Let's just lie down. Oh, and actually before we do, optionally today equipment, you want resistance band and dumbbells or something for weight. You don't have to use either, but that's the optional equipment today. Okay. Alright, let's lie down. Oh yeah. Opening Savasana, you can close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth and exhale. Inhale. So notice how you feel and exhale. Each exhale, relax. One more time, deep breath. Deepest one so far. And exhale. And open your eyes if you close them. Bend your knees, bring your feet in close to your bum. Hip width distance for our warm up spinal articulation. Arms are by your side. There we go. Inhale. Exhale, tuck, curl, lift your hips. Coming up into your glute bridge, chin is tucked, shoulder blades stay on the ground. Should be able to see the tops of your knees. Inhale, exhale, slowly lower down. Right, take it nice and slowly here. Just starting off. Right, take a deep breath again. Exhale, tuck your tailbone, curl and lift. Usually when you tuck your tailbone there, your lower back is going to kind of press down towards the ground. Hold at the top. Knees over your ankles. Arms pressed into the ground. Shoulders down from your ears. Inhale. Exhale, slowly lower down. One vertebra at a time. One more time. Take a deep breath. Exhale, tuck, curl, lift. So also here, keep your stomach in tight and your pelvic floor muscles tight. Again, that's if you need the bathroom, but yeah, there's not one around. But those are those muscles, the pelvic floor muscles. Inhale, exhale, slowly lower down. All the way, all the way down. All right, and then it's time for our bridges. If you want to grab a resistance band, go for it. Now is the time to use it. It would go right above your knees. And going back to feet at that hip width distance. Arms by your side. If you have music ready at home, start it up. All right, here we go. So now hips aren't touching the ground until I tell you to change. Inhale. Exhale, lift your hips up. Inhale, down. Exhale, up. Inhale, down. Stomach in tight. Not touching the ground. The hips staying up. Here too, not too high, right? You're not going up past your knees. You want to be able to see the tops of your knees. Exhale up, inhale down, exhale up and down. Last five, four, three, two, hold it at the top. Then do some calf raises, heels coming up and down, up and down, up and down. Just come in as high on your toes as you can. Right, think heels off the floor as high as you can. Good, maintaining your bridge, hips staying up. 
Last five, four, three, two. Hold it on your toes, pulse your hips. Up, 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 up. Small range of motion. Just that little extra squeeze with your glutes. Little extra push up. Even the pulse is very controlled. You're going to start to bring the knees out and in in five, four, three, two, one. Knees open, close, open, close. Not too many of these. Stay up on the toes. Ready? Ten more. Five, four, three, two, one, and change. Lower everything down. That's better. Get hug your knees into your chest. <sighs> All right, next, by special request from Nancy, wide legs. Uh-oh. No, <laughs> not special request, but we are doing wide legs. All, All right. right. So opening your feet up. I'm losing this. <laughs> Toes point out a little bit. Knees are open too, so knees out over your ankles. Arms by your side. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, hips up, inhale, down. Exhale, up, and down. Keeping your belly in tight. Pelvic floor muscles tight. And then if you have the resistance band, right, fighting to keep the knees open, not letting them cave in. Five, four, three, two, hold your bridge. You're going to flex our feet, just a little bit toes up. Ready? Toes up, down, up, down, up. Down, maintain your bridge. Right, so hips really should not be going up and down. You need the whole feet, right? Not just the toes. Yeah. Just best you can flexing. Flex, flex, flat. Flex, flat. Five, four, three, two. Hold the flex, pulse your hips, pulse, 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 pulse. Shh, 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 shh. Again, keeping your knees open. Shh, 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 shh. Just that little pulse. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> Think you'd have to measure mine as a centimeter, maybe not movement. Shh, right, it might be an inch, maybe two. It's not big. Shh, Just a little bit, a little extra push up, 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 up. Almost done with this round. Keep the feet flexed. Stomach in for 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, change. Okay, I was gonna scream if you didn't say change. Lower everything down. <laughs> <laughs> no bonus. No, thank you. No bonus. Oh my goodness. Alright, last round is pigeon toe. Yeah. Big toes touch, knees touch. Heels open a little bit. You can always take your band off for this one too. It's not really gonna not gonna add to the challenge for you. Arms down by your side. Palms are down. Actually, maybe I will take mine off real quick. Alright, heels open again, a little bit. Arms down, inhale, exhale, hips up, inhale, down. Shh. Shh. Again, that shushing breath. Shh. Shh. Kind of blowing between your teeth. Shh. Shh. Up and down. Knees together tight whole time. Not touching the floor. Shh. 
Right, hips Shh. staying up. Shh. 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 Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold it at the top. Calf raise as heels coming up, down, up, down. A little bit faster. Up, up, up. Up. And if you have music going, you can follow your beat here. And as high heels can, as high as you can get your heels off the ground is what you want. Five, four, three, two. Hold it at the top. Pulse your hips. Pulse, 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 pulse. Making sure our knees staying together. Right, don't let them open. And stay with it. Last round of bridges here. Squeeze your knees tight. Heels up. Shoulders down. Arms pressed into the ground. Last ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Change. Oh, I didn't know. Almost didn't make it through that one. That's hard. All right. Hi. We're going to switch into some abs next. Okay. I'm going to spin around. I will see. You get your screen there, too. Okay. So we're going to do some side crunches. Put your right arm out at an angle, so not straight out to the side, not right down by your side, right right in the middle, like 45 degree angle, half 90, right between your arm and your body. And now roll a little bit onto your side, so not all the way onto your hip bone, not on the tailbone. And then we've done this one before. Long legs, hand behind your head, exhale up, inhale down. Right, keeping your legs close. You can also do this optionally with straight legs and arms. Shh. Right, trying to touch your toes. Shh. And then I'll tell you, change sides, we'll go to the other side. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay. So leaning into the right side. Right arm is down at an angle. Okay. So not all the way on your hip. You gotta be on your butt cheek here. All right, ready? Sure. Set, and go. I taught a class the other day doing this, and my butt is sore again today. And I can feel a change, almost like a little massage. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to put a golf ball under you. <laughs> All right, ready? Same side. Set. And go. Shh. Really use your exhale as you lift. Shh. Inhale down. Shh. Shh. Your pace. We're trying to come up on the floor. Shh. And that left hand just gentle behind your head. Right? Nice. Shh. Change. Okay, good. Little rest and same side. Here we go. Ready? Set and go. Same side. Shh. Shh. If you can try to keep your legs off the ground when you come down. Shh. Shh. You got this. Shh. Shh. Change. Whoa. Yeah. Oh. One more on the side. How's that side plank going to feel after this? <laughs> it is going to feel great. Ready, set, and go. Okay. Shh. 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 You're going to be specific Shh. about your side plank, though. Are we? Shh. Yes. 85 seconds? No. Not like that. 
change. Ah. All right, other side. No, we're just going to specific about which side you start on. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Leaning onto the left side. Oh, left arm. Nancy's turning. Okay. Left arm is out. And go. Yeah, I guess maybe I should turn too. I don't really have room. <laughs> Same thing. Making sure you're on your glutes here. Right, you're on your left butt cheek. It is your cushion here. Change. Whew. I have a couch to hold on to. That's how I turn. <laughs> Ready, set, and go. Same side. Right, four rounds here. Just as much range of motion as you can, too. So if you're having trouble getting all the way up on the forearm, best you can. But really think of body and legs change doing the movement, right? So you're really trying to bring the body and legs together. Here we go. Ready? Set. And go. Couple seconds. Change. All right, last round. This side seems much more difficult for me. <laughs> Ready, set, and go. This one too. Think of sucking your stomach in. Basically every ab move. You gotta try to suck it in. Last round. You got this. Last couple seconds. And change. Okay. All right, so stay on this side. So your left side is the one we were leaning into. We're going to keep this down. Okay. All right, so towards the floor. All right, side plank. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. So you can fold up your mat if you need to. A little extra cushion under the arm. Ready, set, and go. Lift your hips. Elbow under the shoulder. A bit around the side today already. Press your forearm into the ground. You can do palm down or make a fist. Stretch up tall. Squeeze your butt. Stomach in. And make sure feet are flexed here. Remember those positions with the top leg. You can either have feet on top of each other, the top foot in front of the bottom foot, or bend your leg. Nancy's doing that right now. If you're bending your leg like that, use your leg to help push into the ground. You're spotting yourself. It's a little extra. As you squeeze your left side, your right leg's gonna help you lift. Come into the last 10 seconds here. You got this, stretch up. Good, hips up. Making sure that nice form, long line, and change. Yeah. All right. Oh, we're onto our bellies for some forearm plank. All right, one minute. Elbows are under your shoulders, toes tucked under. Ready, set, and go. Chest forward, heels pressing back. You hear me say go? Um, <laughs> my body doesn't hear it. <laughs> okay. That's okay. It's Just breathe. Today. Just breathe. Right, and you always have the option. We hold for 60 seconds. If it is not happening, right, take a breath. Drop and take a breath and then try again. I've had days where my back starts to bother me in this. If it does, again, take a break. A little bit tailbone tucked. Stomach in tight. Coming to the end, 10 seconds now. Last little bit. Hang on to it. And change. All right. One more plank. We're coming up high. It's the only planks we're doing today. These two in the side planks. That's it. It's hard when they're just one after another. 
<laughs> well, there's a little break. We're taking a breath. I'm making us. All right, here we go. Ready? <laughs> Set. It's a little break. You are welcome. And go. <laughs> So this one, you want shoulders over the wrists instead of the elbows. I mean, they're all stacked, right? Chest forward, heels pressing back. Same as we've done, if you have no problem, open your feet a little bit, you can tap your shoulders. Just squeeze your butt. Don't let your hips twist around here. Right? Nice and stable. Stomach in, butt tight. I'm twisting to look at my timer. More than halfway through it. I thought he was checking me. <laughs> you got this. Eyes forward. Remember, this is your time. This is the time you have for plank. Just do it now. And be done with it. Ooh, under 10 seconds now. Hang on to it. Ooh, my belly feels it today too. Stay with it, stay with it. And change. All right, take a breath. We're gonna go to the other side plank. Okay. So right side down? Yep, right side down this time. All right, Goodness. start to set it up. Elbow under the shoulder. There you go, ready? Set, and go. Hips up. We are on the clock. Squeeze your glutes a little, again. Feet flexed, legs are strong, stomach in, and stretch up. Oh. No cramp in my shoulder. I'm not going to look up today. <laughs> look to the side and stretch. You can always look down your body too. Notice what's going on. Make sure hips are vertical, shoulders are vertical. Press your forearm into the ground. Keep the right shoulder active here. Weight is all over that right forearm, not just on the elbow. Good, stretch up. Come into the end here, hips up. You got this. You got this, just make up your mind. Finish it, change. And it's done. Good. All right. I'm gonna change the timer. Grab a sip of water if you need. We are coming up to standing. Oops. Yeah. This first one, if you want to use weights, you can grab them. You can also hold a water bottle. You can hold a single weight or two. It's uh, flexible. All right, we're going to do some side lunges. First, so I'm going to start towards the one side of your space. You can hold weights again or not. I'm going to step out with the right leg. Well, I'm going to step out with my right leg first. To the side, right? Into a lunge, so like you're doing a squat on that side. Left leg is straight. You can hold weights again. Back up to stand. All right, so step. Keeping your chest up, even though your body leans forward. All right, weights or no weights, your choice. Mm -hmm. Just that. I thought you were going to show us another thing. No. And then we'll do the other side, but this side first. Ready? Sure. Set. And go. That's it. Even without weights, you're reaching towards the floor. Make sure your knee, the right knee, not going out past your toes. It's over your foot. And if you wanted one weight, that is fine. Change. All right, just hold it in each hand or water bottle. Here we go. Round two, ready? Set and go. Same side. Inhale down, exhale up. Your feet are staying generally pointing forward. Right, you're not angling out to the side a lot with that foot. So you can think of it as taking this step change I right, take the step, then into the squat for that one side, and then back up. All right, here we go. Same side. Ready, set, and go. Your left leg straight. 
It doesn't have to be straight at the top, but all when you get down there, your left leg is straight. Change. All right, one more on this side, and then we will switch. All right, ready, set, and go. Your pace. Keep your stomach in for this one too. Change. Right, so just switching the side you're standing on. Move off to the right side. Left leg stepping, ready? And go. That's a different leg. Play with the step. I find the step for you. Into the squat. And remember with squats, your hips have to go back. Gotta keep the knee back. Change. All right, second round on this side, ready? And go. Use your breath. Exhale as you come up. Change. All right, inhale into the squat. Exhale up. All right, ready, set, and go. Same side. Change. All right, last one on this side. Ready? Set, and go. Inhale down, exhale, back up. Change. All right, we're coming down to our mats. We're gonna do a little cardio. Before we go back to legs again. Oh, all right. So we are gonna do some mountain climbers and plank jacks. Alternating. So mountain climbers, you know, you can choose knee across or knee straight up to your chest. Your choice today, right? Whatever you want. But you're in plank form, either straight up or across the body. Right? And fast or slow. Plank jack, same form, plank. Now hop the toes out, hop the toes in, like jumping jacks, or you can step out and in, right out, out, in, in, or tap the toes. All right? Can you put your mat forward? I can. Okay, let's do that. All right. All right, ready? Mountain climbers first. Mountain climbers first. first. Ready, set, and go. Your choice where the knees go. I keep forgetting until we get into here that the floppy hair. Ah. <laughs> you keep one eye closed. Change. Ah. And just like you work with your space, you got to work with different things. Work with, work with what's going on in your body too. Here we go. Plank jack set and go. Or what's going on with your hair. <laughs> Your choice with the feet. Change. Okay. Back to mountain climber. Ready? Maybe you need a headband. Set. <laughs> Go, baby. 80s style. Mountain climber. Right. Yes, Richard Simmons style. Just keep my right eye closed and it works. <laughs> Just lose the depth perception, but. Don't really need it. Right now. 
Breathe and stay with it here. Change. Looking to bring up your heart rate. Really get the blood flowing. All right, plank jacks. Here we go, set and go. At your pace, you want to do something. Even if it's whole plank, that's okay. Tap the toes. And whatever you can do. Change. Halfway through. Alright. Here we go. Now I'm going. Ready, set, and go. And just best you can. Your pace. Change. Yes. Plank jacks next. Oh man, such a short bit of cardio. Oh man, go. <laughs> you go. <laughs> now I'm dying the back to tap in the toes. You got this. Again, doing what you can. Change. Remember, it's not about what I'm doing, not about what Nancy's doing, it's all about what you can do. We're doing the same, right? We're trying to do what we can do. Ready, set, mountain climbers, last round. So if it means you can pick up the pace, go for it. Maybe you're the fastest one watching this video. Maybe you're the slowest, it doesn't matter. As long as it's a challenge for you. Change. Oh. All right, one more plank jack. Here we go, ready, set, and go. You got this. Nice plank form. Keep your stomach in. Change. Oh. Okay. I feel like the more days we go through this, the cardio is getting tougher for me. Just lately, these last few days. It's also really humid right now. It is pretty humid right now. Right here. It's a bit of sweat. All right. We're going to finish off with some legs before our active recovery. We're going to do a wall sit, which I know we've done before. So you need to find some wall space. Yep. We both go back there. We can. So uh, one of us might be on the side wall here, one of us over here. Well, what you want to do is, I'll do it on the side so you get a more of a profile. And you want to stand feet away from the wall. You're thinking the length of your thighs, right? That's ideally what you want. So pick a good starting spot, feet about hip width distance. You're going to put your hands back, lean your butt back, your body back, and then slide down like you're in a chair. I'm going to take the paint off the wall with my sweat. Get down and then hold. Stomach in, chest up, right? Keep your shoulders back against the wall. And we stay. Oh. Where do you want to go? Uh, I can try it here with the picture. Okay. You can have this side if you want. All right, here we go. So again, just find yourself. You just need enough space to be against the wall with some floor space. Ready? Sure. All right, find that spot for your feet. Lean back and go. Slide down, find that spot. And you might have to move your feet. I did that last time too. I'm sliding forward a little more. And trying to get your thighs parallel to the floor. Okay. I think so. And hold. Chest up. Stomach in. How long did we hold it? Change, 20 seconds. But we're going to do it again. How many times? Seven more times. Oh! <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Set. It takes like five seconds and to get go. into it. Oh, no. Okay, fine. <laughs> Two. Chest up. Okay. That's okay if your head's not against the wall. Just keep your chest up. Fine. Keep your chest. Fine. Stomach in. Fine. Chest 
Stop making it. Fine. And change. Whew. My legs are already complaining, but let's see. Let's see what they can do. Ready, set, and go. Again, the complaining you want to feel is in the belly of the muscles here. Right? Not at the knees, not all the way in the hips. Right? You want to feel the muscles burning, the muscles shaking. That's the good stuff. Change. Oh. You can shake it out a little bit. All right, ready? I'm not moving my feet. Set. <laughs> Go. That's a good idea. You got your spot. Yeah. Might as well hold it. Arms can be wherever you like. Just try not to push straight. We don't want to use the arms. Change, come on back. <sighs> Ready, set, and go. Back in. And if you need to come up a little higher, come up a little higher. It's all about the work. All about finding that challenge here. Just want to make sure the floor too, obviously not slippery. And change. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yep. <laughs> Getting some real burn. <laughs> All right, ready? Set and go. We're back in. Because you don't want your feet sliding. Even though my feet are sweaty, this floor is pretty good with the grip. Whatever you're on, you want to have good grip. Oh man, that shake is getting pretty intense now. Change, got it back up. Oh, oh. <laughs> Last two rounds. <laughs> this is where it gets interesting. Ready, set, and go. Back in. Because at the end of that round, my mind started to say, that's it. <laughs> that's all you can do. But now we're going to try. And it lasts a little bit. There's some serious shake. Last seconds, last seconds. Stay here. Stay here. And change. Okay. All right, one more. Yep. There we go. Ready? Set. And go. Last one. Last one. I'm dripping. Yep. <laughs> Which doesn't often happen out of the hot room. It's humid. No air on right now. Just working, we're working big muscles here. It's gonna warm you up, couple seconds. Stay with it, stay with it, stay with it, and change. Okay. Oh, shake it out a little bit. We're gonna come back down to the floor. That's good. <laughs> for our active recovery. Okay. I'm gonna adjust the camera. All right, we're gonna do some clam and leprechaun. No idea what that is. We have not done this in the challenge yet. So you're going to lie down on your side, prop your head up, right? Familiar setup except knees bent. So you want your feet, we're going to lift them up, heels in line with your spine. Think your spine going straight down, right to the heels. Keep them there. Keep the bottom knee down, your feet up. You can lean into the top hand, top hand, but you're going to exhale, lift. Inhale down. Not rotating the, hip, the pelvis back, right? Keep it just like the other ones we're doing, right, right here. And then I'll tell you change, we're gonna switch, open like clam, and then separate your feet, touch your knees. I don't know then touch your heels, touch your knees. Heels touch, knees touch, all right? <laughs> here we go, ready? No, I should make, probably watch you. Make your 90 degree angle here, feet are in the air. Heels in line with your spine. Flex feet. You're going to keep your bottom leg still. Right? Pull all of this. Ready? And go. So clam. Just exhale open. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. You can lean into this hand. Just want to not roll back. Right? See my hips? Not rolling back. Keep them there. It's just the right leg going. As high as you can go without turning, and then down. 
And now we're going to change. We're going to start the clam. Now separate your feet. Touch your knees without the feet touching. And then switch and touch your heels without the knees touching. Tap your knees together. Tap your heels. Knees. Heels. Knees. Heels. Knees. Heels. Should feel outer thigh here. And change. We're going to go to the other side. I'm going to spin all the way around. Same thing. Prop your head up. Bend your knees. Lift your feet. Flex your feet. And he make sure heels in line with your hips so you see it. Right? See them. And now go. Open. Close. Open. Close. Clams first. Shh. Keeping the bottom leg right in its spot. I know it's gonna it's gonna wiggle and stuff, but trying not to lift and lower the foot and trying to keep your knee down. And change, keep the knee up, and now we're gonna tap knees, heels, knees, heels. So to get the knees to touch and your feet open. Your pelvis does roll forward a little bit. That is okay. You just don't want to roll it back. We're going to keep it at perpendicular or a little rolling forward. And change. All right. You could do whatever stretch is going to make you feel like you had a great class. Right now, or you can follow us. Uh, do that pigeon prep, I guess, today. So, plank, you're gonna push back to however you do downward dog. Let's take a breath. You can pedal your knees a little bit. Bring the left leg up, bring your knee up, kind of between your hands. Drop your right knee down, point your right toes. Chest up, breathe, take a nice deep breath. And then start to come down to your forearms. If you can, you can drop your head. You're gonna take a few breaths here. Relax, relax, relax. Deep breath. And then lift your head up. Come back up onto your hands. Tuck your right toes. Press back into downward dog. Pedal your knees again a little bit. And now right leg up. Bring your right knee up and through. Left knee drops. Point your left toes. Chest up, take a nice deep breath up here. And then you can start to work your way down onto your forearms. Drop your head and breathe. Start to push back up again onto the hands. Tuck your left toes under. Lift me up. Right leg can come back. And then we're going to work our way to final savasana. Okay. Turn around and relax. You can close your eyes here. Take nice deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. You did the best you could with the best you had today. Your best is always good enough. You feel good for all the reasons you can think of. You 
body or mind ready to face today. Ready to come back stronger tomorrow. Let's take your time here. I'll see you again tomorrow. Namaste. Namaste.